Happy fall. I thought we would celebrate this time of year with a delicious pear smoothie that is served warm instead of cold. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome back to the Organics channel where we gather together in the kitchen every single week. We create these delicious and healthy recipes that hopefully inspire you to cook more at home for those you love. Today, we're going to be making a warming roasted pear smoothie. Let's begin today by taking two pears that are still hard to the touch and slicing them in half lengthwise. Next, let's scoop out the seeds from each half. Brush one tablespoon of coconut oil onto the inside of each halved pear. Sprinkle with just a touch of pink Himalayan or sea salt if you'd like. This isn't necessary, but it will bring out more of the pear flavor. Roast in a 375 degree preheated oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until a fork can be easily inserted. While you let your pears cool for just a minute, let's begin to add our ingredients to the blender. First, we have one half of an avocado for some wonderful healthy fats. Next, one quarter of a cup of either full fat or light coconut milk from a can that is room temperature, mixed in with one quarter of a cup of filtered water. One teaspoon of freshly grated ginger root. One half of a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon. And now this next ingredient is optional. I'm going to add in one scoop of our Organic Greens green juice powder that's got all the benefits of juicing, but without the mess. Last, let's add in our warm pears, removing any remaining stems. There will be juice in the middle of the pears, so try to keep all of that goodness when adding them to the blender. Last, any juices that have spilled out onto your parchment paper Pour that into your blender as well. Blend up all of your ingredients until smooth, adding additional milk for a thinner consistency. I let mine run for a good minute. Pour into your favorite glass and garnish with some additional Ceylon cinnamon. Before we give this warming roasted pear smoothie a taste, there's some different things you could add in here to make it just right for you. So give it a taste. If you want it a little bit more sweet, add in a tablespoon of your favorite sweetener. If you want it a little bit more spicy, a little bit more heat, add in a pinch of some cayenne pepper. If you'd like to add some protein, a scoop of our clean source collagens powder is an excellent choice. If you want to add in some more greens, add a handful of some organic spinach. And you could also play around with the types of fruit that you're roasting, so you can get so creative with this. Now mine is definitely thick. <laughs> if you don't want it so thick, just add in a little bit more milk or a little bit of water. So, with all of that being said, let's give it a taste. Oh, that is so good. It is so warming, you know, it's warm not only in temperature, but also the spices of the ginger. And then if you added in some cayenne pepper, you could just feel it all over your body. It feels so good. And I love being able to still have smoothies even when the temperature is getting colder. Give this one a try, make it just right for you, and you will not be disappointed. Thanks for tuning in with me today. Cheers to a happy and healthy fall season. I'll see you next week.